Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome to Pro Cycling Manager 2020. This is the Pro Cyclist mode, and this is our all rounder. It's episode number one. This year, we are absolutely stepping this up to the most difficult challenge imaginable. So, we are on extreme difficulty, first and foremost, and we're going to do something new. I'm setting some restrictions upon myself. They're going to make this as tough as it could possibly be. Potential, the lowest. No secondary axis. Our main axis, bear door. So we're starting with the weakest rider we could have, who has the worst potential that we could have. And on extreme difficulty, uh, let's go ahead and take the low level American. Sure. Arapaho Hincapi. Sounds good to me. But we're doing more than that. We're not just starting with the worst setup. We're going to maintain the worst setup. By that, here's what I mean. Right now, looking at my attributes, I have a 71 flat, which is respectable. Barador rating doesn't actually mean anything in this game, but I'll still be monitoring it. Downhill is a 69. That's okay. Everything else is garbage. I can't climb. I can't sprint. I can't do class classics. I certainly can't time trial either. But I will. I will do it all. And the limitation that I'm placing on this is, unlike the typical pro cyclist mode, you pick a specialty and you want to develop that as quickly as possible. And over time, you want to round out your other attributes so that you don't get hung out, especially if you're going for, say, GC, right? If you're a stage racer, you want to climb, you want a time trial, but you don't want to get dropped on a windy stage. You don't want to get dropped on a short, punchy climb. You want to have the ability to accelerate and ride away from other riders. You want to be able to go downhill and, and contest that type of stage. Here's the limitation. Here's what I mean by all-rounder. Whatever my lowest attribute is will always be the attribute when I level up and have the opportunity to pick up more attributes will always be what gets the attention. As long as it is possible, I will always go for the lowest attribute. If it's not possible that time, like say resistance, there's no points of resistance coming up no matter what setup you go for, then I will go for the second lowest. So we will always be training whatever is lowest, which means in the long term, this is the socialist pro cyclist mode. We will develop everything essentially equally throughout the history of this series. It's going to be a long, arduous battle, but we're going to get on with it. As always, I will set my, well, the objectives I'm not even worried about, but as always, I will set my training schedule to maintain a high fitness level throughout the entirety of the year. I'm not even worried about what these races are, except for that's right at the start of the year. Let's maybe push it back a little bit. Columbia, baby. I'll see you in the first race. Under such heat must be unbearable. Here we are at our career's first race. And right off the bat, they already want me into the break, which kind of makes sense for a team like this that uh, very much lacks much talent overall. We, we do have Brendan Rim, who is a decent rider, but uh, there's no more than a single decent rider within the team, which is why I still, at a 66 average, somehow am one of the best on the team. Uh, I have managed to get away quite early. I'm already a minute five, really lucked out. It, it could be really hard to get in the break unless you're that first one to get off the front. So we have a 40 second advantage over a chasing group of three. I have a teammate 
who has joined the second group, though they get reeled back in, so there are now five of us away. The gap's back down to a minute. You're saying, let's work together. You're the one who's not putting in the pace that I am. Down to 45 seconds. They don't like those three that are chasing us. It looks like they're about to get reeled in. Ten second gap there. Nine second. And it's opening back up again. If they can make contact with them, maybe they'll sit up and let us go. And they are. Reeled back in. It's down to 30 seconds. Let's see if that opens back up now. Nah, next group's attacking. And they reel them back in, leaving us with just 17 seconds, but it's quickly opening back up. We add 15 seconds to the lead, and another attempt at the break is putting a lot of pressure on us. We are tired. We're getting fatigued with just the two of us, though it's now out to a minute and a half. There you go. I think we've done it. We will be joined by... Oh, there's a new attack. We're about to get joined by one more. Just eight seconds away now. Let's back off a little bit. Let this guy join in with us. There we go. Scarseth has joined us. I've got 25% of our objective now. And there's one rider away. Maybe they'll let him go. Nope. Oh, of course not. More guys trying to attack. Minute and a half and we're 30, 40k and it's still battling back there. And at 46, 49, I think they finally are sitting up. Eh, so much for that. <laughs> One guy trying to bridge the gap here. I need to uh, start backing off a little more, though. There you go. They've sat up. They have sat up. And we're good. Will we be joined by our fourth? Where are we at? Eight and a half K till the first checkpoint. First sprint point. And I'm just starting to recover. 30 seconds to the chase rider. He's not going to have any energy. I do want to go for it, I suppose. Three and a half K. early <laughs> and I go third run out of red bar about 75 meters to go almost made it not quite all right you guys don't have to push so hard there you go back off a little well that opened it up to a minute behind us it's gonna be real hard for that guy to catch up now let's go ahead and get some water there we go all right, well, we've got a little time before the next checkpoint. Let's speed this up, and let's also back off a little more. So, meanwhile, with 80k to go, the reason why I picked Barador for our main axis is it's the least useful, least helpful. It's the slowest. Now, realistically, I don't a pure domestique, right? Mostly, Baradors are domestiques. They spend most of the time in that role, but not always. And while they might double as domestiques, domestiques are clearly weaker. But there is no axis for domestiques. Domestiques essentially are just your weakest riders. So the weakest axis is why we've picked uh, Baradour, that is, as our start point. And we are now 15k away from our next time through. Uh, the rider in No Man's Land is now no man left in that land, as uh, he got reeled back in. It's a minute and a half back to the peloton, and we now have four minutes. Not four minutes. Oh, man. Words, words, they escape me. 
three kilometers, there we go, till the final spurt point of the day. Uh, I went a little early last time. go there's the attack I've got a decent flat rating can I get over the top though second through that one yes yeah second Scarseth takes both uh, grounded and I split second and third the two times through and there we go breakaway objective 100% met so it's a good day to get to 125 and get the super bonus we'll need let's see 40 20 another 24k so we need to get to about 120 let's go ahead and get water one final time uh, these guys aren't working with me anymore we're down to 47 seconds Looks like they're both struggling. Look at that. Their shoulders. Let's go ahead and just speed up and maybe right away from these guys. There you go. Be the last one alive for a little bit. And they were able to latch back on. I don't have much left now, but we were going to get caught soon anyway. It's my turn to sit on for a little bit. I may recover, I may not, but if we get swept up by the peloton, I'll, I'll at least have, what, three seconds worth of time bonuses for the stage, which will put me in a good GC placement. At least we'll have that, and may give me some sort of boost to, there you go, we are reeled in by the pack, 21k to go. And that again speaks volumes about how aggressive the AI is in PCM20. Uh, they're clearly a step up from where they used to be. In real life this last season, breakaways were going right to the end. Last couple years, really. Uh, but in game, I mean, look how early they reeled us in. Flat stage. And you could see just how fast we're going because I've got a 73 flat, and yet... I am just, 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 just keeping up here with uh, these final three kilometers now. I'm barely going to make it to the finish, it looks like. One point. There we go. Shouldn't get dropped here. Rim's got a decent finish, it looks like. Hey, he missed a top 10. He missed a top 20. I thought Rim was close. Oh no, he was. He was in the top 20. And just like that, after only one stage, we have leveled up. So, again, here's the thing. Mountain is my lowest rating currently, out of 54. It's the one that must happen. Also, if I can, recovery. Which, if we go climber we get two points of mountain and a point of recovery so that's where we begin our first leveling up we are far away from what our potential may be and so we're able to not worry about that too much right now but in time we're going to need to uh, increase the potential as well A good 20-25 kilometers already into stage number two. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to a more aggressive AI. I have tried to get off the front multiple times. Many riders have tried to get off the front, likewise, to no avail. The first two riders that got away, well, they, they got away. Nobody else since then has been able to gain any sort of advantage as every attempt has been negated again and again and again 
as you see here we are I'm trying to recover a little bit but this huge acceleration every time someone tries to sprint forward here we go again Townsend you have uh, I thought for a second they might actually let them get away but no Munoz chases him down I still need a bit of recovery before I can really attempt again and again like I said no attempt currently seems to be doing the trick Scarseth was in the in it last time he is getting a little gap here but no 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 not yet not yet they're chasing him down seeing a couple more trying to go but they can't even get off the front Okay, recovery is good enough that I feel like I could try once again. The front two riders have split, so they will probably be caught as our chase has been enough to exhaust them. Nope, not this time. It seems almost certainly that a secondary attack is going to be what it's going to take, or these couple two, three riders at the front, maybe five riders at the front, to themselves get exhausted. Front two riders nearly reeled in now. Here we go. Next attempt. Not going anywhere, but this is probably going to bring in one, if not both, of the front two riders. It does bring in the first. This could be... No, still no. Oh, okay. They're not riding as hard. Alright, here we go. Townsend, myself. We're off the front. 11, 12 seconds. This, this was the right time. This was the right time. Now we just need to make contact with Townsend. Come on. Don't ride away from me too hard. All right, I've got a guru. Oh, nope, that wasn't it. Still wasn't it. Townsend, the only one away. He's out to 20 seconds. I don't have the energy to go again just yet. He's out to 30 seconds. They're not chasing. They are not chasing. This is the time to go. And now they are chasing. So don't waste the energy. Don't waste the energy. Breakaways in real life can actually be really hard to form. So many of the, so much of the television coverage often shows the mid to later stages, and you don't see that fight, but it's often there. Though it doesn't usually take this long. This is pretty ridiculous. We've got only two riders away. They're not together. But it's 40 and 20 seconds. I'm going to try one last time, and then I think I don't have the energy, really, to make another go of it. And they're not letting me go anywhere. And of course, one key factor, even though I have a good flat rating, I have no sprint or acceleration. So it's really hard for me to actually create a gap over the field. So all they have to do is accelerate lightly to keep me in check. I think I might be tired enough now that if I don't sit, I could be out the, the back of the group. Minute 40 to the two riders, it does look like that's it. There's your break. Everyone's given up. Once I recover, though, we'll see if we can't uh, get into no man's land. Might as well, especially if it's before the sprint point. So we sit up for a while. Uh, there we go, water. 97k to go. 240 is the gap. There is a second and a point available, but that's pretty late in the stage. I'd like to be away before that. We'll keep an eye on the time primarily. Gap 
Gap's been holding pretty steady here for a while. There's three riders off the back having a hard time catching back up, so there is a bit of tempo ongoing. And now the gap is starting to come back slowly, two minutes. Still 20 kilometers till that sprint point. Fifteen. I think I'll want to go probably six or seven kilometers before. I want an early break. I can't win a sprint, so if I wait, sprinters will uh, go and claim that point. Okay, 7K. Let's bring it on back down. 6K. Ooh, we got some tempo, but let's see if we can't get away. 5K to go. 10 seconds. That is a gap. That is a gap. But will it hold? 15, 16 seconds. 14 seconds. Going at a 91. 16 seconds, so it's holding. 17. 1K to go. 18. And there we go. We pick up a second. We go third across the line. Is this being counted? Let's slow this down for a moment. Am I getting any credit? No, because I'm I'm in the secondary group, which that, that still bugs me. There was no work done on objectives with Pro Cyclist mode for this year. So that is pretty disappointing that that did not happen. I'm up to 30 seconds now, but I'm also almost out of energy. So let's just sit up and fall back into the group. As much as I was closing those guys down, I'm about to run out of energy. So uh, let's just try to get in the peloton and see if we can't hang on. I do have the under-25s jersey right now, which is awesome. Fourth place overall, which is awesome. I've picked up one second overall, which is awesome. And I am exhausted, which is really bad. 21K to go. I am recovering right now, at least. Shoulders... Uh, swaying side to side heavily, but looks like we're going to make it to the end. Alright, 11k to go. There's no breakaway right now, by the way, but as much as I'd like to form one, that's not happening. 10k to go. I don't have enough energy. Six K to go. Time to use the gel. Five K to go. Four K. Not enough energy to even attempt a sprint. Gel kicks in just as time, just in time as I'm about to run out of energy. Two K to go to the finish, and here we go into the sprint. Rim again up there contesting. Gaviria takes it over Sam Bennett and Arnaud Damar. Rim gets 10th place, so a decent finish for him, and I finish in the group. Overall position, well, I improved by one second, but I do drop to 5th place as I, we had a different rider in the top 3 this time. I'm assuming that's Sam Bennett, and his uh, Damar, I think, was 3rd, so if he's 2nd overall, that's because of a combined, looks like Clark had 2nd the last time. But that's, that's still, that's a good start for us. So after a couple stages, we're showing that, well, we can earn two points. <laughs> I never did get away. But I did at least get one level. Now I have a skill point from that. Let's go ahead and use that up. And I'm going to go straight into my first three skill points, all going towards gaining more XP each month. Why? Well can't tell if we're going to take the lowest attribute each time we're not going to have a true specialty without a true specialty i'm not going to get good at anything useful for much longer than what normally takes place meaning we're in for the long haul so if we're in for the long haul i need all the xp i can get my hands on that's going to do it for this episode i'm decathlon gamer thanks for tuning in be sure to like and subscribe so that we can get this journey going. PCM19, Pro Cyclist, 99 episodes.
BCM 19 career mode 100 episodes plus a couple other series I am very active with this game we will have new content every single day with my career mode Mondays Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays and pro cyclist mode every Tuesday Thursday and Friday so three new episodes every week so again be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. And bye for now.